G'day, how's it going? Saber SG here, and welcome to V Rising. It's the second part of the series, and we are setting up our initial base, uh, continuing on from our last episode. So I've gone and gathered quite a few resources. Um, I did actually have a base set up before this in this area, but. Um, the server just went P it's got PvP now on the weekends and uh, due to some wife aggro uh, I had to stop my gameplay get off and then um, when I came on back on the next day someone had come in and obviously my base was all exposed so they uh, just deleted everything uh, killed off my castle heart which therefore destroys all of my base so I've had to start again but uh, I hadn't really gotten that far into it, so not a big deal. So uh, let's get the base established. Alrighty, so let's get everything set up. Uh, extend the territory. Now one of the first things you want to do when you're first building your base uh, is to build one of these mist braziers and oh, we're talking about the bones that I was collecting earlier put some of those bones in there and what it does is it burns those bones and creates shade during the day uh, quite a, a big area of shade as well or a mist misty shade but it's very handy instead of having to creep around uh, from the Sun you can relax and just go about your base building yeah the last thing that we want to want to happen to us is, uh, you know, we're trying to build our base and um, the sun comes and burns us to a bit of crispy vampire bacon. I like to build uh, multiple chests as I, I like to just sort of dump my gear in there. But later on, we'll um, once the base is expanded, we'll get a little bit more organised. But for now, we're just sort of getting things down temporarily to start just to get our quest line rolling so to speak all right so we put some uh, wood into our soil to get some planks and those planks are going to allow us to build a uh, workbench We got some blood into our castle heart as well. And you've noticed that the uh, walls are no longer red. That's because we've got some blood, uh, blood essence in our castle heart now, and uh, that extends the time of um, our castle not being vulnerable. Well, let's go about collecting some more resources and expanding the base. Alright, so I've been collecting a few more resources. I get some more walls up. And it's a little bit cramped. I think I'm going to want to um, get some more foundations down. Or borders, as they're called. That way I can build a little bit of a bigger base. I like to have a little bit of um, space to move around in and build all my things. There we go. like I'm short on the resources to build walls again There's, at the start of the game um, and throughout the base building there is a fair bit of grinding to be done with um, in collecting resources to expand on your base but it's not over the top it's not crazy crazy grinding I imagine it would be a bit of a pain in a PvP sort of situation, PvP server. Maybe they boost the um, resource rates so that your farming isn't so extensive uh, in a, a PvP server. PvE, I think it's okay. Alright, let's get our workbench down and progress a little bit with our quests at the top there. So interact with it now and this is another example of why I, I liked at the very start in episode one to uh, collect lots of bone because now all the weapons uh, 
that we're going to be making it initially out of bone so all our armor and our weapons and also uh, the bones that we put in our misperez here for like to create some shade for base you know for our base um all require bones so it's pretty handy to farm them up at the start I'm just getting things set up the way I like it. I usually like to have my swords on one. Two is axe. Uh, normally I have my mace on uh, four, but I've got it on three at the moment. And I stick my spear at number three. Get a plated bone guard gear going. Gloves and the boots. So as you get better gear, um, your gear level increases. That's sort of your guide as to what sort of level you are at the end of the game it's not leveling up skills or experience or something like that it's all gauged by what sort of gear you're wearing so it's your gear level so give it level 17 we're moving up in the world a bit short of the resources so i decided to head out to get some more blood essence which i'm really in need of as well as other resources moment I've got 65% creature blood it's going to be a shame to have to uh, get different blood collecting more of that blood essence 1% oh, I don't want that Alright, so we're back at base and uh, I've been out farming a whole bunch of resources and now it is time to get the base a little bit more organised, I think. It's still looking pretty shabby. Things are just kind of put randomly around the place. So we'll move this sawmill. Already got a workbench. Get another sawmill. And we need to get some furnaces going. And also a blood altar. So I changed my mind and decided to get rid of one of those sawmills. The base is pretty crammed. I can't really fit three of them, but uh, two will be two will be enough. And I did get 100% resources back because I think it was within 60 seconds or within two minutes or something like that. You get 100% back. But the blood altar uh, shows you what all the bosses are. So each boss, um, you can track them, and as you kill bosses, you get different awards, and it unlocks different um, uh, things to build, and also powers or abilities, spells, uh, to use as well. And it's actually, um, one of the highlights of the game is the, the boss fights are awesome. Let's expand the base out a little bit more, I think. Yeah, it 
looks like that copper node is in the way. Unfortunately, my mist brazier doesn't uh, extend out this far, but I can just work in the shade here, no worries. There we go. And we get that wall up. Very nice, and now, got even more room. Face is looking pretty good. So we're getting 75% back for all those, that's not too bad. There we go, we got some room to work with now. Right now, that we've got more room, let's get some furnaces down. I'd like to build two of those. And we'll get a blood press going as well. Stick that in the corner. And let's build ourselves a vermin nest and we'll chuck that in the corner over here. There we go. And it looks like for a grinder we're going to have to go and farm up some copper ingots and uh, we need some whetstone as well. Right, so that seems like a good spot to um, end the series number two. Um, let us know in the comment section below whether you think that these uh, episodes are too short or you'd like them to be longer, it's like some more around the 20 minute mark rather than you know 12, 13 minutes. Uh, yeah, I'm curious to know that. Uh, but in the next episode, I think we're going to go hunt down one of the bosses. Uh, we'll go get Alpha Wolf, and uh, yeah. So if you enjoyed this episode, please like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps me out. And uh, yeah, yibbity yibbity, that's all, folks. And I'll catch you in the next one.